I'd just like to thank you all for coming here tonight to support the anti-fascist cause which we support wholeheartedly. single we ever released on our own label. We sold 400 copies of it in the early days. It's called The Murder of Little Towers. Let's say he was me. 
Peter Black, he was Peter Blue. But don't be alarmed, there was a right thing to do. Police had the power, police had the right to kill a man, to take away his life. Drunk and sword, he was his crime. Making words, he shouldn't do any time, but he's dead. He's drunk and sword, and now he's dead. Go still means as much as there's a man then. The songs about international socialism. It's about the unity of the working class of the world and what we can do to overcome the fascist oppression, whichever form it appears. I just hope that these people do not get involved with the church and involved with the capitalists and that they have a country ruled by the people for the people. The song's called Solidarity.
Also deals with the same problem. It's dedicated to the South African police and the Royal Ulster Constabulary, who are both exactly the same as the Gestapo and the SS in their own right, if not worse. It shows that fascists still exist in different shapes, in different forms, in different uniforms, but their hearts are still the same. Fucking evil. The song's called Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs>
took on the British government, the police state and the army in an industrial struggle which lasted one year. The songs dedicated to those miners stood up for the one year. It's also dedicated to their wives, the women who fed the children with fucking no money and only on donations from fellow socialists like yourselves from Germany, from Russia, and from Poland, and very little. And very fucking little from Britain. We were defeated because everybody in the trade union movement was frightened to take on Thatcher. The miners weren't, and the miners' wives bore the struggle. The songs to the miners' wives is called One More Day.
Employment problem in England. And now the working class turn around and says, Fuck it, we've had enough of you bastards. We're unfortunately not enough who have said it. The song's called Two Million Voices. Song's about a pig who's the leader of the British government called Margaret Thatcher. It's called She's the Woman in Disguise. Country, listen to a chip of the flowers of hope, of discontent, of the youth 
song which was wrote many years ago and it's about supposedly I think it typifies the anti-fascist movement it's about black and white kids together uniting street kids street kids street politics that's the only way to win the working class together the song's called kids on the street soldiers who are sent at distant lands where their lives are wasted 
when they're involved in struggles which do not concern them. The song's about wasted lives. It's a song for a united Ireland and a call for peace, a victory to the Irish people, the IRSP. The song's called Last Night Another Soldier. <laughs> Ships were made of wood and the men were made of steel. Just sing along with it anyway, it can help us out. It's called It Is A Teenage Warning. No satisfaction, it's all frustration. 
worship, times are changing, changing me. Over the cage, let free the animal, running wild, running criminals, no satisfaction, it's all frustration, times are changing, when you're teenage warning, but no one's listening, who takes the blame? 20th century My image right My fashion parade If you don't look right Your days are not bad Until it's morning But no one's listening You take the blame 20th century Until it's morning But no one's listening Thanks for Thank you. Mr. Yeah, Matty, come here. You get this one. I'll join in with him. This song is about what all it was wrote with you in mind. It's called You Are the Upstarts. You don't need to travel to get your life. You don't have to listen. I'm running away. Trying to be honest. Can't you keep it alive? Years could see us now, they probably understand what they were missing, the thick cunts, what they are. Fucking, if you see a bonehead in the street, fascist bonehead, pick him up and fucking shit him. And say to him, You thick bastard, fucking wake up. This is fucking 1989, we've learned the fucking lessons, fucking wake up. This song was wrote by a friend of mine when he seen the black youth in Britain rise up against the fascist police force. And he said, fuck me, I like some of that. I want some of that. He says, what will I do? He says, I'll write a fucking song about it. It's called White Riot. <laughs> Oh, 
Thank you all for coming here tonight to support the anti-fascist cause which we support wholeheartedly. <laughs> <laughs>